Jamal LaSalle's, Carl Darlow, and you're watching Newcastle Fans TV. Hi everyone, welcome to the review, just me on my own uh, this week, so we're going to be talking about obviously the West Brom game, which was a uh, fairly entertaining second half, first half was a little bit drab wasn't it, but um, what we'll begin with uh, when we do reviews is obviously we'll talk about the lineups because there was massive surprise at what Rafa had done there, we'll also hear from Rafa Benitez uh, later on in the video as well, we'll talk about the game itself and uh, you know individual performances too, so let's get on with let's get on with uh, the lineup, shall we, so you know as I mentioned Rafa had surprised uh, everybody including myself, Carl Darlow surprisingly was probably the biggest one coming in at that side and then with Yedlin at right back, Lejeune, Clark, Chancel and Bemba, another surprise prize coming in at left back then he went with Hayden in Moreno he dropped Shelby to the bench he played Perez in that number 10 Richie on the right and then Murphy on the left Hostler up top and it was the 4-2-3-1 formation switching across to West Brom um, only one change really I thought Gareth Barry would be dropped for Jakob but uh, Gary Merkson who's in charge of caretaker kept the same side um, you know Newcastle started I think fairly, fairly surely the first twenty minutes were done all right. You know, it, it wasn't the best of games. You know, um, and then I think more towards the end of the first half, West Brom were just showing that little bit of impetus to go forward and try and get the goal. And in particular, Solomon Rondon was having a lot of the action, a lot of the balls. I mean, you had you tried one point thirty yards, which which was swerving and they dipped the top of the bar, and he was like holding out, out wide. He was getting crosses in, and probably you would say going in that first half, maybe. West Brom deserved that, would you say, or probably even. But for me, Evans pings that long ball. It's a fantastic touch from Kieran Gibbs on that left flank. I think he just takes DeAndre Yedlin completely out of the game. I've already seen on Twitter that Yedlin's a fall for that goal. I'm going to disagree. I just think it was a great touch from Kieran Gibbs. He fires it in and then, you know, unmarked. He beats Chancel and Bemba. Robson Cano, 1-0. Disappointing, yeah, because Keane Clark's standing around who's he got, but we'll talk about that when we look back at the goals. Going in, 1-0 down, disappointing, I Conceding very quickly in the second half as well. Um, you know, Rondon get, is on the right-hand... No, sorry, it's Matt Phillips is on the right-hand side. A fantastic ball whipped in. Um, first of all, Chancellor Ben has got to stop the cross, but DeAndre Edlund's not close to Sam Field and the young staff volleys home and for me John Riordan's got to be tighter for me because that's that goes down as an error I would say but you know in a weird way going 2-0 down it made Newcastle attack West Brom and we looked a so much better side we really really did we just because we knew we had to go for it we just looked totally different West Brom on the back foot putting the brakes on we were going at them we seen Rolanda Aarons come on we seen Mirovic come on you know Newcastle got a goal back fairly quickly where West Brom's defending shocking absolutely shocking the cross comes in well it's a free kick from Richie whipped in and then there he is Keown Clark to head home awful defender but we didn't care we're back in it 2-1 and it was all Newcastle, all Newcastle going forward. And then we thought, right, we need a little bit of quality here. So Rafa brought on John Joe Shelby for the last 15 minutes. And even Shelby just being on the pitch himself, he was putting a couple of world-class performances, performances, passes, sorry. One of them was offside when Yedlin pulled the ball back. And that was outstanding. So it just him being on the pitch, give that, give that a little bit more spring with step. And then we got that equaliser. And I think we deserved it for that last half an hour because we were absolutely outstanding. Yes, it's a bit of luck with Rondon flicking it from Richie's free kick and it hits off Evans. But so what? We'll take that. We deserved that. Then we'll try to go for the winner as well. And West Brom, I know that uh, uh, Phillips was knackered and he couldn't run, but we were trying to get that three points. Yes, we didn't win. But I am so proud of the lads. You know, I criticised them, including myself, on the weekend. I criticised the side, saying, look, this isn't good enough. And I was ranting and raving a little bit about DeAndre Eden. But you've got to say it tonight, coming from 2-0 nil to 2-0 nil down, the spirit, the character to do that is absolutely outstanding. And I'm praising the lads for doing that tonight. Because, you know, that game was already lost. And a lot of teams would have put their head down and we came back fighting. So well done, Rafa Benitez. Well done, Newcastle. Got your tactics spot on. Really, really proud of you tonight. Let's hear from Rafa Benitez. Difficult to be happy when you, you were when, uh, you were doing well in the first half. You had the control and then you concede a late goal again. So it's something that uh, we were talking about and then I was not very happy. I was uh, upset with the second goal, but uh, really pleased with the reaction of the team and the way that they they were playing and, and the work rate and the commitment of uh, all the players. And it was a pity the last minute because when we scored the second goal, we could win the game. So we were attacking and, and controlling the game. It was a pity not to have a little bit of luck. And so that was Rafa Benitez, you know, 
yes, disappointing that went in the down, but we got we got we came back, could have won it, could have won it. You know, let's have a look at the league table. I know this is before the Wednesday fixture, so this could change, but it's still a point at the end of the day. It still gets well a point away from relegation. We'll have to see how the Wednesday night uh, results go, but you know what? At least, as I meant, touched upon, at least the stops are right. And I'm happy, like I mentioned, about the spirit come back. I'm absolutely out of the moon how the lads... Um, yes, we've got Chelsea. They're going to, if we get anything from that game, fair enough. But I just want to touch upon like notable performances as well. In the last half an hour, I thought DeAndre Eden on that right flank was bombing down. Yes, you could point to him for being a mistake for two, one, maybe two of the goals, but that was a real, real strength. Matt Ritchie was so much better tonight than what he has been. He owed a performance. Hoslow, I'm not going to talk negative, I'm not. I thought um, Jacob Murphy in spells was okay. I think it was a like-for-like -like replacement, Rolanda Aaron's The centre midfield would just look so much better with Moreno in there, personally for me. I know Shelby was dropped and he looked absolutely class when he come on. So there's a lot of positive going forward. Yes, you might look at the goals, but um, who's man the match there? Pff, let me know. I'm struggling to just to throw a name at it. I thought there was a lot of, it's a team effort and I'm really, really happy about it. Of course, I'm not happy that we haven't won, but I'm just happy the way we'll come back. Let me know what you think in the comments down there below. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.